something terrifying is coming in 2027, and it's not human. The AI world is buzzing right now over this new AI 2027 forecast that just dropped. It's a month-by-month -month roadmap created by some of the top minds in the field, outlining how the next two years and beyond could play out in AI. And these aren't random guesses. The authors have a solid track record of being right before. I thought I'd quickly break it down for you, so you're in the loop. If you want to dive deeper, just Google AI 2027 or check out the Dorkish podcast episode where two of the authors talk about it. Definitely worth a listen if you've got the time. So the big claim, by the end of 2027, we could reach artificial super intelligence, AI that outperforms the best humans at pretty much everything. Sounds wild, right? It feels like progress is slow right now, like that's something decades away. But the forecast argues we're at the base of an exponential curve, and it's about to get steep, fast. One thing that stood out to me, if you scroll through the article's animated chart, you'll see coding is where AI accelerates first. Not just building websites faster, but writing its own code, running experiments, improving its own algorithms, basically making itself smarter, quicker than any human could. The timeline goes something like this. 2025, AI agents start becoming useful instead of just clumsy. Go try ones like Manus AI, Convergence, or ChatGPT Operator. They're early, but evolving fast. 2026, AI seriously starts improving itself, and that's when we'll see real behind-the-scenes breakthroughs. 2027, top AI systems could outperform humans not just at coding, but at cracking big problems in science, math, and even medicine. And then there's the big what-if. If an AI arms race happens and we don't slow down, we risk creating misaligned AI, systems that don't share our goals and could become dangerous. On the flip side, if we manage it carefully, we could unlock longer, healthier, more productive lives. Of course, opinions on this forecast are all over the place. Some say it's spot on, others think it's alarmist or just plain wrong. But whether you're a believer or a skeptic, this is absolutely something you'll want to stay on top of. And one last thing, if parts of your work could easily be done by an AI, start thinking about how you can lean into the more human skills. Those are the ones that'll matter most in the years ahead. If you get value out of this content, please like, comment, and follow us for more AI contents in the future.